He who loves not knows not good, for God is love. Verse 12. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwells in us. Hello. If we love one another, God dwells in us. And His love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in Him. You want to know the evidence that you dwell in Him? That's what it says. Hereby we know. And He is in us because He has given us His Spirit. So He's talking about the Spirit. The fullness of the Spirit is what? Love. There you go. 1 John 2, 3, 6. I told you I was going to let you know by the Word. And hereby we do know that we know Him if we keep His commandments. He who says, I know Him, and keeps not His commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whosoever keeps his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk even as he walked. It doesn't mean you're going to walk on the water. But it does mean you're going to have his attributes coming out of you. You'll have that mercy and that compassion. You have that desire to set people free from bondage or sickness or disease. You may not be able to do it, but you'll be able to pray for them and the Holy Spirit can do it. Amen. Amen. Right. It's not you anyway. What we got to realize is it's not us. It's the Holy Spirit's fruit. It's not Daryl's fruit. It's not Vance's fruit, Teresa's fruit, Angelia's fruit. It is the Holy Spirit. Fruit of the Spirit, not fruit of the flesh. It's the fruit of the Spirit doing this, and you can't take no glory for it anyway. Amen. There are times He will use tongues. He said through stammering lips. In another tongue, I will speak to these people. But there are times He will use prophecy. There are times He will use teaching. There are times He's going to use many words of knowledge, words of wisdom, gifts of healing, many different things the Spirit uses. But we cannot put God in a box. Matthew 4, 16, it says, And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and, lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighting upon him. Mm -mm -mm. So we know that Jesus had the Holy Spirit. He was full of the Spirit, praise God. But what came out of him? What, were they look, listening for tongues to come out of him? Virtue. Virtue. You remember the woman with the issue of blood? Virtue come out of him. My goodness, he's, he's love. Amen. That's how you know someone's walking. Last scripture, we go to Ephesians 3.14. Ephesians 3.14 is going to tell us about the fullness of God. That everybody's interested in. How do you know you feel with the Holy Ghost? How do you know you feel with the fullness of God? <coughs> Watch this. Ephesians 3.14 through 20. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he, Jesus Christ, would grant you according to his riches of his glory to be strengthened with the might of his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that you being rooted and grounded and what's it say, congregation? Love. You're rooted and grounded in love. tongues. Did it say tongues? Love. Oh, it said love. Oh, my goodness. Okay. But he said Christ may dwell in your hearts. He also talks about the might of his spirit, right? The might of his spirit. Being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth the length, the depth, the, and the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you might be, what does it say, congregation? Filled. Filled. Oh, praise God. That you might be, what? Filled. With all the what? Fullness of God. Fullness of God. Now, he tells us what fills us with the fullness of God right there. Being what? Rooted and grounded in what I just told you. So why we have these doctrines that divide us and everybody's going, they might not be saved. That's wrong. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> but you'll know when somebody has love because you can feel it coming out of them. It just oozes out. You can feel the mercy. You can feel the mercy when a situation happens. And even if they, we're all human, 
are in the flesh sometimes and they're scared, you still feel that there's tenderness coming from that person. You can feel the tender mercies of God's love coming out of them because God is love, people. That's how you know. Again, John 3, 13, 35 says, By this, by this, by this evidence, shall all men know that you are my disciples, that you have love one for another. Amen? Amen? I know this sermon was more of a teaching, but I think we need this. Because I believe if God pours His Spirit out like He's about to, and I know, I feel it, guess what we're going to need? We're going to need to have that love. Mercy, long-suffering for others. I mean, there, there's times that we don't want to do that. You've got to deny that old self-nature wants to rise up and want to feel with hate. Because hate comes from the end. Hate comes from Satan. That's why you know that you know that you know the evidence is love. Because Satan can mimic. He can mimic Tom. <laughs> All day long. But he can't mimic true love. Who praise God. He can't mimic true Pure love that comes from the throne room. To be foolish, to be filled with all the fullness of God. You stay rooted and grounded in love. Praise the Lord. Stay rooted and grounded in the truth. Have you ever been judged by people? Have they ever put their eyes on you? How does it make you feel? Is that love? Now, here's the sermon. Here's the difference between proper godly counsel. When someone sees that you're in error, they come up to you with what? Mercy. Long suffering, love, seriously, and they say, "Brother, you know, we all fall short." They'll even use their self as an example. But when you got somebody coming up to you and just pops you, pops you, that's but they don't use their self as an example. That ain't love, that's right. and that's not the Holy Ghost. That is, that is evil, and that comes from man, whose number is what six, six, six. So we got to come out of that stuff. That's what's called the night. And I don't care if they're preaching to a thousand member church or 47,000 people or whatever. If they don't have love, what did Paul just say? They ain't got nothing. They ain't nothing to it. So people, we got to stay rooted and grounded in love in this church. Because I believe the Lord's going to bring a bunch of people in here and they're going to be broken hearted. They're going to have, we're going to have people that have been rejected in churches. We're going to have people that have been done wrong. I've talked to them already. That Some have visited that, that don't understand because they were done wrong because... Someone didn't hear them speak in tongues, so they kicked them out from preaching, from teaching a Sunday school class because they didn't hear them. Who is man that he should judge you by what he hears as far as the spiritual gift coming out of your mouth? Who is who? Who are we doing this? That's wrong. We should discern the fruit from the heart. I understand what I taught you, but you don't do that. Up. That's evil. I don't care what they say. That I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some remarks on this one when it goes across. <laughs> I ain't worried about it. You, 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 can, uh, you can go to the Word of God and take it up with Jesus. Because all through the Word, you're going to find one common denominator, and that's love. Love is the fullness of God. Love is the evidence of being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Sure is. Because it never says in Acts 2, watch this, in Acts 2, 4, it never says there's the evidence. It just says they began to speak with other tongues. And in Acts 19, they began to do both. Speak with other tongues and prophesy. So the gifts of the Spirit start flowing through. That's what it means. It don't mean it just, that's the evidence. That's the evidence. No, evidence could be words of knowledge, words of wisdom. I watched in another church where they tried to force a person to speak in tongues. Forty men are around them, praying, trying to get them to do something. And I said, this is wrong. The preacher got mad at me. I said, this is wrong. He said, well, you can leave. I said, I am. <laughs> 